Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am coming to you live from Haunted Castle and I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on this sword right here, the Hallow Scythe. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into the video. So this Hallow Scythe is actually a mythic sword right here, as you can see, and one of the four that you can get in game at the moment. I'll be showing you the move set and how to get it. So it has two moves. The first one is Death Cyclone for 150 mastery. This, as the name suggests, makes a cyclone that kills things. It takes them a really far way away. So it's really good against bounty hunters or something who are chasing you because all you have to do is aim it in a direction that they are and it takes them really far away. And if you dash, look at that distance. That's an enormous distance between us. It does do a decent amount of damage and it takes away a lot of observation dodges. But the thing about it is that it's really hard to combo with. The next move is Soul Execution, which is the X move at 350 mastery. Now this move is a weird move because it does more damage the lower your opponent's health is. So as you can see, it, you take it, it drags your opponent, and right then it did 4,200 damage. If I get the opponent down a bit more, yeah, I think that's about right. I can go take them, uh, put them over here, and it's 5,200 damage. So that's roughly an extra 1,000 damage. This move can be really good at the end of a combo, plus you can use it for mobility. So if you want to go straight up, there we go. I actually went really, really high there. That's further than I thought I'd go. So, if you fancy yourself this beautiful scythe, you are going to need to be in the third C. Then once you're in a third C, you're going to want to come all the way to this island right here, the Haunted Castle. Right now, I'm at Sea Castle. And if you want to head to Haunted Castle, you're going to want to go from the spawn point out and to the left. And as you can see, there is a giant sail. All you have to do is go over there and then we can go get the Hallow Scythe. So once you are at Haunted Castle, you can go head over to any NPC. As you can see, there are uh, like a bajillion of them. I will just go over here. As you can see, there are these skeletons. When you kill any of the enemies on this island, you have a chance to get bones. So most of the time you'll get bones as I am right now, but sometimes you may not. You can get anywhere from zero to four bones. Then once you have a ton of bones, you're going to want to come into this house right here uh, to take these chests if they're there because, well, it's free money. Then talk to the death kid. You say, yeah, I got some bones. At the moment, I only have 16. To buy a random surprise, you do need 50, and you can only buy 10 random surprises every two hours. But don't worry, bones do not take very long to get. If you want to get some bones without any effort, all you have to do is go and get something like a Logia fruit. For example, smoke right here. It is the cheapest Logia fruit in the game, and as long as you are level 2055 or above, they can't hit you. So just get an auto clicker or make a macro and just click overnight. When you buy a random surprise from this guy right here, the Death King, who's actually really short for some reason. It's like the only thing that he killed was his height. But anyway, you have a chance to get this one thing called the Hallowed Essence. You can also get the Hallowed Essence by praying at the tombstone over here. Now the only way you can get it by praying is if you get the devil's luck. As you can see, I got absolutely nothing that time. But that's all right, I don't mind since I already have the Hallow Scythe. And with the Hallow Essence, all you have to do is come out over here and then head to the left and then another left and you come to this burning dish right here. Pretend this is the Hallow Essence in my hands. I just walk up to it Bam, and then it spawns the raid boss, the Soul Reaper. Now, where is the Soul Reaper? It is actually up in this castle. 
So you're going to want to head around to the front of the castle, head inside, and then go up this ramp all the way, then take the first left you see. And along this bridge, you just keep going, and he will spawn in the center of this room. Now be warned, he is a raid boss, so he will have a lot of health. So make sure you are either using something like Buddha fruit and then just click away, or you try and kill him with more people than just yourself. So it's easier and you don't die that often. Now he has a chance to drop the Hallow Scythe. Honestly, I think it is the worst mythic weapon in the game, but each to their own. It also has the fastest click speed of all the mythic weapons in the game, so just use it if you want to. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. See you all next time.